Hey everybody and welcome back to my mommy channel made for moms by a mom and before we get this video started make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can join the mommy club because it's awesome. So right now so right now I'm actually trying to nurse the little one uh, to sleep. It's her nap time and she is very grouchy. So, I took her to the zoo uh, about a, a week ago, I think. And I will actually put a footage if I have any from the zoo. Because I was really trying to spend time with her, so I didn't really film anything. But I think I have a clip of an elephant. So, I put it in here if I still have it. Clean, but they dirty at the same time. He's like, I'm getting all the way in this one. He said, I'm getting all the way in this one. Oh, you're a He's like, I'm, <laughs> I am jealous. I want to do that. Oh, no, he's he's like, I'm going in this thing here. Yeah. Get a little elephant. Oh, yeah. He's like, yeah. No. So, I wanted to give you some tips about what to do when you're taking your little one to the zoo. So, my daughter is 14 months, but she was 13 months at the time when I took her to the zoo. So, here's what you need when you're going to the zoo with children. You're gonna need a lot of water. Z water at the zoo costs an insanely amount of money. And um, why do that when you can bring your own water? So I have I cannot think of the name of the bottle, but you know those big um, canisters that people who hike, they have them. They're just big containers that you can fit a lot of water in, sometimes even a gallon of water. Well, I have one of those. I cannot think of the name, but any big uh, can, like a canister, because uh, when you put ice in it, it keeps it cold for longer and you know the ice won't melt so it'll keep the water cold so you need one of those to put water in I also froze some water bottles um, because I you know I I packed some food so I froze water bottles um, to serve as um, ice you know because they were frozen so I used those to put inside of my cooler I have a cooler it's like a lunch box but you put it in the freezer and it keeps things cold. And I also froze some water bottles. You want to bring, if you're breastfeeding, you want to bring breast milk. Um, you want to bring water. You want to bring any type of juice if your baby's drinking juice. Fruit, sandwiches, snacks, all that. You know, the food at the zoo is kind of pricey as well. So I actually packed myself a tuna sandwich. And those cute little pouches, I know Gerber has some and everybody has them. And they're you know those pouches and it has like fruit nuts or whatever in it and you can give those to babies on the go so I use those I packed myself like I said a tuna sandwich we had juices we had chips and snacks um, my child likes puffs puffs are so great because they dissolve in the baby's um, mouth so it's like a great first solid thing to give them Cheerios, any type of food and snacks. So you want to pack all that up. Um, you want to pack some sunscreen and apply that because sometimes you could be in the zoo for some hours. You know, especially if you're going to go to the little exhibits or anything. So, and sunglasses and hats. And make sure your baby is comfortable. They do have those things. You can find them on Amazon. They're like a spray mister fans and some of you you can stick onto your stroller so that you can keep them cool because it's super hot I would also suggest a great stroller I have an awesome stroller if I can find it on Amazon because that's where I got it from you I will put it down in the description box below but it folds forward and leans back so when the babies get tired you know they could take a little nap and everything like that um you can bring a camera also would be something cool to bring so you can make memories take pictures or what have you and um, maybe a little bit a little blanket if you want to sit down on the grass or something 
or if you just want to sit down on the chairs but maybe they're a little bit too hot or dirty or whatever um, bring your diaper bag, of course, with all the essentials, especially a changing pad. Because to change your baby in the bathroom is disgusting in there, you know. Um, and maybe some antibacterial wipes, you know, she can wipe the changing table down. Hand sanitizer, normal stuff that you will put inside of your diaper bag. So, you know, make sure that you think about bringing stuff for yourself and your children or babies and just be careful if it's too hot outside you don't want to stay too long at the zoo because your kids can get overheated so um, just keep that in mind and otherwise have a fantastic time at the zoo it's super duper fun oh number one thing I almost forgot bug spray there's a lot of little creepy crawly critters at and they have bug spray for babies too so bring some for yourself and some for your little kiddo and otherwise have a great time at the zoo go ahead and leave me some comments down below about what you what your zoo essentials are and just give me any advice or anybody other moms any advice make sure you subscribe and make sure that you hit the bell button that's next to the subscription button because it'll notify you when I post so you never miss a video because you don't want to do that <laughs> and I thank you guys for watching and oh my flowers are dead back there okay thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye